Today, we're gonna to show you a couple of different ways to automate your canvases. To start off, you're gonna click the three dot menu, then click on automations. We have a section here dedicated to templates, which allows us to easily set up workflows to automate some of your most common tasks. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see a few different options for canvases. This first template allows us to collect information about the channel that you wanna set up. In this case, we have a channel name, but we can also collect information about different users you might want to add to the channel or maybe a channel description. So we have a few different examples of templates that make it really easy to configure a workflow. If you click on one, it will list out all the different workflow steps that you can configure further when you click on use templates. We have three here, one to be able to create a new channel with a associated channel canvas, another for weekly status updates, and a third one for a feedback log. Let me show you what those look like. Let's kick off the workflow and enter the channel name. So we click here, we can see Project Acme, and this is the channel canvas template that we decided to use. Full of a project weekly status, and you can see here we have an agenda block with the date associated with it. We want to make our lives a little easier by having this automatically added every single week. And we can do that with the weekly status update template. When we click on it, we have the workflow, which has two steps to be able to update and share. We can click on use template. Let's start with the first step. Here we can choose which canvas to update. Once that's pulled up, we can specify the section that we want to update. It could be the entire canvas or a specific area. So I'll choose weekly meeting notes. And there's different types of updates. I can add content to the top, the bottom, or replace existing content. I'll leave this at the top. And here I have a variable which allows me to specify what time this workflow is run. If I click this drop down menu, I can choose local date. So this is great for setting up the weekly agenda. I can also select the text and mark it as a specific type of heading. I will mark it as an H3 just so it's a little bit more bolded. And here's the outline for the agenda. I can also tag different people to make sure that they fill out the agenda block as we prep for this week's meeting. And for this next step, I can specify who I wanna share this canvas with. I might wanna share with my project channel, or specific users to make sure that they update this weekly status. I'll give them the right permissions and tell them, please update this agenda. Click on save. And as soon as I click on finish up, this workflow will run every single Monday to remind everybody to update the weekly agenda for our meeting. We can also create a workflow from scratch. Under the automation section, you can click on workflow builder and then you can specify the trigger, which is how do you want this workflow to start? You have the option of starting from a schedule and today we're gonna do it from a link. Click on that. On the right-hand side, we see different workflow builder steps. At the top, we see Slack built steps. So you can send messages, you can collect information from a form. We also have integrations to other systems that are listed below. Today we'll focus on Canvas. Here we create canvases, update canvases, share, as well as copy. Copy is restricted to grid only. There's two types of canvas creation. Channel canvases are associated with a specific channel, whereas creating a canvas allows us to share across different channels. I can just specify this as a new canvas. I can create from scratch or from a template. If I'm on grid, I can create custom templates. Otherwise, I have the ability to select a Slack built template. If I were to create from scratch, I have a nice composer here where I can specify the formatting as well as check boxes and dividing lines. I wanna make sure I specify the canvas owner, in this case, it will be the person who used this workflow. And once I save, it gives me a suggestion to make sure I share the canvas with a channel or a person. 